Uh, this is what I was told was an engine shed, isn't an engine shed. Um, this was the sawmill and it's still a timber supplies. Um, across the road, people have also thought these were engine sheds. No, these were a government stores, which were apparently full of sugar at one time. And when there was a sugar shortage in the 70s, apparently, um, I think it was Lyons, came and um, emptied it of sugar. And squeeze the car. So this is now uh, the building supplies in the village. Um, over here on the left, I also was told that this house was something to do with uh, the railway, but it isn't. This was a gasworks, and that was, I think, the manager's house. Um, just the other side of that hedge, it's a nice car there, just the other side of that hedge was where the station was, um, and over here in the road, We've got the only remnants of our railway at all. There's no buildings left, nothing, just these tracks in the road here. That's it, that's a sidings track apparently. And then this is where the station was. And I believe the line was where the hedge is. And the trailway that we've walked along, um, which is the old Somerset and Dorset line uh, that runs across through there just the other side of those signs um, as far as it'll go which is not very far because it's been blocked off by a farmer at this end um, not the other end from Sturminster you can walk to Blandford and it's quite a thing but no not in Storbridge because the farmer won't allow it through his land he owns a piece of the old track and down here where Fudges is this is uh, called the sidings um, so I imagine this land was all used by the railway um, I think I've seen an aerial photo and it's all sheds and workshops and things and when you pulled in at Stalbridge station this would have been your view